Dr. Spot something strange and makes a disturbing phone call. It's funny how the world works sometimes most people would assume that the world would never do something for you and it's up to your own efforts to get what you need this is not always the case this is saying go do good unto others and it shall do good unto you when one doctor definitely lived up to this philosophy is a simple word saved the life of one young woman. Me Nicole your friendly neighborhood woman who loved to put a smile on others faces her positive energy made everyone around her happy and the sweet smile on her face was infectious enough to make even the biggest frown turned upside down Nicole had one dream and that was to live by the beach, since she was a kid she loved the waves and the smell of the ocean, so she wanted to get some of each fun property. Despite her love for the ocean there was one person she loved even more her father he was our biggest hero, and she got all her confidence from this man, and so wanted to make the decision together with him the two went around town looking for a good property, but unfortunately we're not able to find a property that suited their tanks after all it's not as easy as buying any other type of property due to the demand. Luckily for Nicole there was just a place you can go to get the place of our dreams, and that was the show called HGTV Beachfront Bargain Hunt, and it ran exclusively for purchasing and selling beach property more than that elaborated on the family their background the kind of property they were looking for and the motive behind the purchase. Nicole and her father unanimously decided that they would appear on the show and decided to come to the show was a celebration to add a little spice to their search. When Nicole man with the agency she already had every specification for her beach property in our mind and instantly blurted out everything she thought about mother father looked at right now and into CS it didn't take long after that for HGTV beachfront bargain hunters centering email to tell her that she was shortlisted for this young man absolutely loved her energy but that energy soon started to faint. Nicole couldn't understand it, she was celebrating a special purchase and couldn't be happier about her decision but it was just something all. Still Nicole ignored her feelings brushing it off as the low after the high and went on with the show she spoke about her life and what kind of property she was looking for, but she kept running out of breath of what wasn't that noticeable. But despite the oddness Nicole loved the entire experience with her father and excitedly waited for it to come on TV now we don't know if she actually got the property she was looking for, but when the show came out she got so much more fast forward to a month ahead. if this episode gone aired on TV and the fans came flocking to watch, but there was one fan who noticed something a little different. Eric was a doctor by profession as he looked at Nicole he still would appear to be a small lump on the left side of her throat any filters blanched there was something he urgently had to tell this young woman, but he didn't have enough information he trying tracing our name and digging deep into social media with keywords, but he was still unable to find the information he needed even after many days of searching now most people would have given up at this point, but not Eric the information he had and couldn't wait, and when his own efforts failed he turned to his friend he made a short video describing the girl and posted it on the social media, and his friends were kind enough to send it forward to get more attention finally one of his friends managed to get a hold of Nicole's social media account and forwarded it to a man wasted no time and immediately requested her to meet up with him in the world of social media today it's not always a good idea to meet a complete stranger whom you've never even heard of before in the usual reaction is to just ignore the message, especially when said stranger said those words would be better heard than read the Nicole felt differently she didn't know why, but something was telling her that it would be better to meet this stranger. She trying to think logically about this thinking that since he said that he'd seen on HGTV beachfront bargain hunt you must be a seller of some sort, but in the end she just couldn't shake the feeling that the news she would receive wouldn't be the good cop with their heart beating faster to set up an appointment for the following week to chat on Zoom. For the time leading to the call the bad feeling never went away and her nervousness was at its peak when she finally sat down and joined the call, Eric wasted no time when she finally arrived in after a simple hello, he requested a few virtual tests will be observed Nicole agreeing despite the on request, but when Eric returned with the results, it was a visible frown on his face, and a frowning doctor was never a good sign. Before you Rick broke the news he asked if there was someone else who could join the call to help our digest the news in case she fainted, and Nicole called her father over with your stress at an all-time high, he called and asked to cut to the chase and tell her why he contacted her, my dear you have done road cancer. Eric finally sent the words echoed in Nicole's mind, which turned them in an instant, was this one here recounted her down, how was the show sure about his diagnosis yes, I'm a head neck surgeon, just noticed a subtlety in her neck you know I'm trained to examine patients, and I teach medical students, and I just it just caught my eye, and I knew it wasn't right when he noticed the auditing. And Nicole he felt it was his responsibility to tell her before the symptoms became worse and more obvious, even if he had to take some time off from his very busy schedule to do so, Nicole couldn't believe what she just heard and every continue the conversation with her grandfather, they first wanted to get the diagnosis cross-checked with a family doctor, but the conclusion turned out to be the same Nicole really had cancer. 
The young happy and chirpy woman soon lost happy state and even her father wasn't able to bring back her smile, this cancer was situated around her throat and that could come with a lot of complications, what if she lost her voice box, what if she never recovered from this cancer, remember that we mentioned she was buying the beach property for a special reason well it was because she'd recently recovered from glioblastoma. This was a fairly large tumor in her brain and she'd undergone surgery not long ago to remove it and now she had to go through another surgery, Bonnie was better to remove the cancer in the very early stages before it spread Nicole's entire family rallied around her in support before her surgery, which turned out to be a success to the quick action taken. When all was said and done Nicole was touched and grateful that the doctor had noticed her condition from a TV and wonder about what her own doctor needed to perform several tests, so she shared her experience on social media and surprisingly, the post quickly gained momentum there was something even more special that the strangers wanted to do for anyone in the Cole and Eric to meet up. She was flown in and wasted no time to hug the man who saved her life, in an interview with Good Morning America, Merrick said that he was just happy that he'd been able to help the two-time experience with Deaf Just Medicals, faith in God grows stronger, and she's extremely thankful we suppose that is a positive person who tries to give as much possible to the world Nicole was rewarded in the best way possible. Everyone has their superpower on Eric's was observation and determination, and we hope that you will also find the power to save a life the feeling again can last a long.